So I am late to the game with Halloween. I bought all this Halloween stuff about a month ago. And then I got kind of sidetracked with some other things. And then I was making Christmas videos, which I love to do. But I also had some other things around the home that I was doing. And Halloween decorating for it got away from me. So here I am. I'm trying to get my mantle decorated for Halloween. And I'm going to been playing around with it. And I'm going to show you the result. I don't know if you can really see, but this is a bat. And then this is an acorn. And the acorns I can use, you know, all season. But those were from Pier 1. I got those a few years ago, and I got them on sale. So those are my $1.99 bats that I got at Walmart that I showed you when I was doing my shop with me. And uh, I just put a couple of them up on my mirror. This mirror is um, from Ikea, and they usually have the Stockholm mirror um, in the wood tones. And then this is, this is called Rot rot something. Anyways, I wanted it because it was in the white and uh, I was I was like, oh my gosh, they have one in the white and it's half the price of the Stockholm mirror. So I was really happy and, to get that and anyways, there's my little bats. And then over here, I just put a, one of these little glittery bats from the Dollar Tree onto my candle holder. One of the great things about this mirror is that you can like stick something on the bottom of it so I just stuck this little candle here got a couple other pieces that I already had there's my Target house from a few years ago this is um, is this from Target or is this from Michaels okay I either got this clearance at Michael I think I got this clearance at Michaels yeah there's another little bat up there and then my sign one of my signs from the Dollar Tree and then I'll take you and show you what I did below so if you saw any of my Halloween shop with me's, then you'll recognize some of these things that I picked up. And um, actually this pumpkin is from uh, Hobby Lobby and I've had that and also the candle holder. But I just stuck a little, as you can see there, I just stuck another one of those little glittery pumpkins from the Dollar Tree on there. There's my little jack-o'-lantern that was at Five Below. That was in my Five Below video. I just put some lights in it. And I turned my pumpkin pail from Kirkland's upside down and I just put that on there. This is my vintage sign from Kirkland's that I just loved and I'm pretty happy with it. This wreath I've had from Target, I've had it a long time. This is like one of the original ones they put out. I know they put it out every year in a different version. This is, I think, the original one they had. And then this sign from the Dollar Tree. And then my two potion bottles are like on either side. These were from Walgreens and they were only $5. And they're pretty, I mean, see here my hand, they're a pretty good, they're a pretty good size for $5. Because I really think other places when they're this size, they're more. And I just have this on a um, whiteboard stand that I have. And then there's the other one. And then I have one of my candles here, and then my pumpkin that I had from Target. And this little stand came from Kirkland's. And again, this is stuff from like this season, some of it, but also from like other seasons too. And then I just bought these pillow covers. I covered an older pillow that was a blue, and I'm really happy with it. They were only like $9.99 for two, and they're 16 by 16, which is what I needed. And those came from um, Amazon. And um, if you're interested in these, I can find the link for it um, and link it below. And so now I have my new tear tray um, from Kirkland's just flanking this side of the fireplace. And I don't have too much in it yet, just a few things. Um, I just got it. So I'm probably going to do um, more of a job of decorating it for Christmas. But I just wanted to put both of my trays on either side of the fireplace.
And then over here, this is um, in my front room, and I don't do a, hu a huge amount of decorating in here. This is kind of where we watch TV, but um, I just have this white pumpkin that I purchased at Christmas tree shops. Um, I, had, I, showed, I had that video going earlier in the season where I went in there. Just my cake platter there from Target. This little All Hallows Eve sign from Target, and then I just put a little glittery bat on it. It's just kind of sitting next to my little Hello Autumn, just kind of a white pumpkin in here to kind of go with the decor better. And then the last thing is just this little dish towel that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Little vintage -y style black cats and witches hats, beware of flying brooms, happy Halloween. I just picked that up, and this is really all I do in the kitchen because I need pretty much all the space in my kitchen for everyday use. So I just put a nice little dish towel up and call it Halloween. Okay, it's kind of dark. I wanted to kind of get more of like a night shot of what it looks like with all the lights on. So there's kind of a look at how that looks with the orange and purple lights and the candles. And this light here, and then some of these here. How they look. And then just down here, we've got the little jack-o'-lantern, and then flaming candle, and then over here we just have more of that. Just kind of how that looks. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty Halloween-ish, which is what I was definitely aiming for here. So next year I'm hoping to have my mantle painted white, so that'll make a difference. But anyways, this is how it looks for now. And I think it looks pretty good. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. I always appreciate it. I appreciate my subscribers who watch me on a regular basis thank you so much and I also appreciate any new subscribers I'm getting and if you're here for the first time and you like what you see um, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and there'll be a link in the description box to do that if you'd like to and as always I will see you in the next video and I hope that you all have a wonderful week and I hope that you have a happy Halloween and then it's gearing up for Christmas, right? <laughs> well, Thanksgiving first, right? Yes. Then Christmas. But we're getting into the season. Have a good week, y'all. Thanks so much.